So we're in this holiday cottage in Wales and <laughs> chaos finds us everywhere. So we've already had to scrub the oven because it smelled like it was burning a dead body and we've melted a plug with one of the electric heaters that should be in an isolator switch but it's not, it's just in a regular plug socket and smoke was coming out of the vacuum so yeah good start, second day! <laughs> So we may not be on the canal, but we are going in search of boats. So we're in Porth Paddock and I can see the marina in front of me. Look how pretty this is. Welcome to Porth Maddock Harbour. We've spotted an egret. Here he comes. Or somebody will tell us it's not an egret, but that's cool too. Well, even if it isn't, I have not seen that bird. Off he goes. So no boats today, we've gone for a walk with a picnic and we're currently walking along a lane heading to some unpronounceable town called Iron Gruggen Grab and Go Go or something. <laughs> I'll look it up and I'll let you know but we've stopped because there's an amazing waterfall that's called River Iron Gro Gro What's It. And it's just so pretty. Check this out. Look at it! So nice! There's my mum! <laughs> Not looking. So we're having conversation <laughs> about sticks and I said what's brown and sticky? A stick. And my mum thinks <laughs> the sticks are green, not brown. Or in this case, grey. <laughs> okay. Gale. A scaly stick. Yeah. Right. It's very pretty. That's very different to a stick. Which has got nothing on it. Excellent. That's just a stick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very nice. So one of the big problems with not having much hair is the sun was burning my forehead. So I've got this this <laughs> lovely fetching scarf tied appropriately. Otherwise, no, <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Mum's making fun of me here. She doesn't appreciate my dashing good looks. <laughs> so on our walk we came across this building and we both thought it looked totally haunted. Um, when we got back to the cottage I looked it up and found it used to be a hotel and it was up for sale a couple of years ago and currently a private residence. We did find the entrance um, way to it, the drive, and it looks so gorgeous. So it's called what I read as Maisie Neath, meaning Field of the Hall. I swear I'm not purposefully butchering these names. I did study a bit of Welsh some years ago, but my pronunciation isn't the greatest. Uh, but the earliest known records of the property are from the mid 14th century and a previous resident who was the poet Robert Graves actually called it a quote, much haunted house. So there you go, it truly could be haunted. Um, and there was actually a haunted house event there last year. So I'm sorry to have missed that. I would have loved it. 
So today we're going to Beth Gellert in Snowdonia and it's such a lovely journey and there's some amazing scenery so I've recorded some of the trip for you. So what's special about Beth Gellert, apart from the incredible scenery, is that it's the location of Gellert's grave for which the village is named. It's a short walk along the river from the village centre to Gellert's grave and you can see it ahead of us here. The story of Gellert is a tragic one, a fair warning. Gellert was a dog. In the 13th century, Llewellyn, Prince of Wales, went hunting and he went without his faithful dog Gellert as Gellert was missing. When Llewellyn returned, he found Gellert all covered in blood, but joyfully bouncing around, glad to see his master return. In fear, Llewellyn ran to find his infant son and saw the cot and bedding in ruins and his child was gone. Believing Gellert to have killed his son, he plunged his sword into Gellert's side. Gellert's dying howl was answered by the wail of a child and Llewellyn followed the sound to find his son unharmed, but lying next to the body of a huge wolf, which Gellert had killed protecting the child. Llewellyn was filled with regret and is said never to have smiled again and buried Gellert here. We're in Harlech today, and I'll show you the castle in a bit. It's just behind me, but check this out. We've come all the way to Wales to do a bit of train spotting. Hundred and twenty seven steps there and hundred and twenty seven steps back. Why would you? I hope you enjoyed this extra special video from our trip to Wales and I'll be back on the boat for next week's video. Thanks for watching.